been some some uh, rubbish data out of Asia, China, and Japan. Like mm. J- Japanese exports got got hit. I think they've turned negative for the first time since twenty twenty one. The China stuff, you know, obviously shook the Hang Seng, but it's, it got bid up nice and quickly mm. in early trade. Um, but I think there's yeah, there's there's a lot of stuff out there that seems really really illiquid. The dollar has just gone crazy today. The Correct. euro. Euro's down at one spot zero eight and a half, I think, is the yep. last time I saw it. Mm. Aussie down. Mm. Um, it's, yeah, I feel like it's very much August markets and it's difficult to de- deduce what mm. people's true behavior is for the next quarter, say. Yeah. So September, people are back from the Hamptons, mm. people are back from the south of France. <laughs> Maybe we can see what their real thoughts are from yeah. some of these asset managers and what direction they want to take it. But right. the Euro is... This is probably one of the most underspoken uh, assets out there at the moment, or FX pairs. Mm. Because if you draw a trend line, Mm. right, and I'm only in favor of trend lines when they're over such a long period. Mm. From, I think, about 2008-ish, maybe 2005, and I've got the chart in my head, but I can't remember the specific years. But we just came off um, an almost two-decade trend line. from about one spot one two, mm. maybe I think it was like one spot one two and a half, and we're heading down now. Yeah, and every single time we've gone and touched that line, the euro's plummeted, which makes sense in the current context as well, mm. with Germany really facing issues, and especially if your currency weakens, you know, it's meant to induce demand. Mm. Um, so that's definitely one to look at as well, and keep an eye on over the next year or so. I think I think the euro's in a lot of trouble. I really, really do. Mm-hmm. Um, the Euro, the the eurozone economy just looks decimated, mm-hmm. and I think there's a nice sort of parity, or not parity trade, uh, a nice uh, relative trade there between the euro and the zloty. Mm. So the Polish zloty, I think the Polish zloty and Poland in general has a good amount of support and a good amount of upside. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm a I'm a big big bull on Poland to be fair. <laughs> not that that's part of the discussion today. But. <laughs> 